Capricorn how's it going guys so I did do a video for you guys a few days ago apparently I never uploaded it so today is Saturday July 24th and this is a brand new reading for you you know for once I'm gonna honestly ask you guys to like really I mean I ask you every single video post some questions down below something I can zoom in and pinpoint on because this is a general reading it's already vague as it is but you know, a little bit more information, something to add to it, spice it up, would really help. I'm not one of those readers that wants to sit there and bat talk, whatever, Zodiac and stuff like that. Like, I, I don't go that far. I'm not like reaching for the drama. I just like to get to the point with the messages that I'm getting in these cards. And hopefully it resonates or makes sense for some of you. What we have right now is actually a situation that I do not like. But there's good news and there's a good outcome in it for you. I actually feel for some of you because I feel like some of you are surrounded by people that I just heard envious. There's people that want to keep you at a certain level. Like they want to keep you like here so they could keep their eyes on you. You understand? They want to keep you, you know, it's, it's the story of jesus you know all the haters and whatnot they literally want to put you on that cross and crucify you and i i mean it what we've got going on is if this is relationship related if this is a relationship with the full card yes there's a lot of stuff on my table with the full card the three of cups knight of cups the world card and seven of wands if somebody's been buzzing around you right excuse me if you have an ex or someone you're with but it's not cement it's not like concrete even if it's just that one person in your life and you're not out there entertaining multiple options this fool card is telling you that you're still kind of like a fool or you're being taken for a fool so if someone wants to get back with you or commit further that is a no that's a hard no Knight of Cups and the World card here is telling you to pack your little feelings up and keep it moving. Go look for something else. The only thing is, for some of you, it's kind of like hard looking or seeing anybody else because you're guarded. Your heart is guarded. You've got boundaries up. You're like, you know, keeping your emotions in check, your feelings at bay. You're keeping people out, but you're keeping the wrong person out or at least you're keeping the wrong person in something like that so whoever is in your field right now or whoever it is that's trying to come back to you that's a no this would be like a dumb move right here what's that phrase you'd be a dub yep that would be a dumb move right there so ixnay on the reunions like no nah. seriously no uh keep it moving world card look for somebody new talk to new people or whatever and you know the deal look for the flags if they got more flags than united nations keep it moving so after that the thing is you want something fair you want something balanced you've been kind of like laying low for some of you you may even feel tired like you need a little bit more rest you haven't been fair to yourself you'll be feeling drained and charged for others others of you there's an unexpected secret that's going to come out six of pentacles four of swords high priestess the tower card some type of a secret is going to come out or you're going to come to a sudden realization or maybe you've been keeping quiet about something but there is a story that literally needs to unfold. For some of you, it's like you're tired keeping secrets or you're tired keeping the peace. For some of you, it's like you know better and you're going to start to do better. Six of Pentacles. How could you be in a relationship that's one-sided? You know what I mean? It seems as though one side gets, but the other side doesn't. When it's your turn to get, they're tired. Do you know? You don't know everything that's going on. It's like something I heard in my dreams the other night. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And all that pretty much is going to come out or come to light for some of you. What we have here next is Five of Swords, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and Ten of Pentacles. So again, it could be love, it could be 
business for me it feels intertwined it's like you've just got this group of naysayers you've got a group of haters and i don't like telling people that ah oh, you got a hater but you do you have people that they want you by yourself number one they don't like you being happy by yourself number two like you do a little too well by yourself and they don't want that or they actually don't want you doing so good without them like they want to be in your mix partaking of whatever it is you have going on the thing is you've got some type of a new opportunity coming in or like this is going to be a new cycle for you that brings whatever it is you need or you know just a general up move you've got people keeping their eyes on you because they want to like hop on board with you when that happens it's like if they can't be with you when all of this happiness is happening, then you can't have it. If they can't have it, you can't have it. And that's the thing. Five of Cups here, Six of Wands, Two of Wands, Page of Swords. Number one, this is them wanting to see you unhappy. They want to see you sad. They want to see you down. They want to bring you down. Number one. Number two, some of you, this is how you feel. You feel defeated. You feel rejected you feel like your emotions aren't valid or they aren't being recognized and I think you're seeing the wrong thing because this is about still looking page of source this is about the negative self-talk stuff like that it's like you don't see your worth that's what I'm getting from these four cards here you don't see your worth you know what I mean or you feel that people don't see your worth that's how you feel people don't see your worth it's because of how they treat you they treat you like you're an option they treat you like you're a meal ticket they treat you like you're a free ride so based on how these people treat you sometimes it either makes you think that's how they see you like that's all you're good for or that's how it makes you feel last set of cards here Capricorns one two three four Five. I must have pulled an extra row. Last set of cards here. Nine of Wands, Boundaries, Queen of Swords. When I first saw this card, I was like, yep, you need to put some boundaries up and start cutting people out. So I was happy when this Queen of Swords fell out because that's it. This is how you're going to handle this situation in order to move forward. You're going to have to start honestly seeing people for who they are. You already know but you're honestly going to have to start cutting people out. The other thing is because for some of you, you do have either an opportunity or another person coming in. It could go either way. It's either an opportunity to do more of what you love, opportunity for business, or it could be a chance at romance. So you're going to have to put a lot of friends, a lot of so-called friends to rest because they're not friends. And that's what you need to honestly sit and think. To differentiate about these people in your circle are they even worthy of being called friends are they just acquaintances or because y'all chit chat so much you think they're friends now in order to grab at this opportunity when it comes in because it's about you know for starters it might be going the distance for something you might have to go out of your way but it's going to pay out for you. It could be a wish because I know a lot of you inside are lonely. I'll be honest. You're lonely. You don't feel like you've met your match. Like your heart is still a little bit empty. So for some of you, you might be getting that full cup of love that you want. The thing is, number one, you're going to have to keep that to yourself. And number two, you're going to have to cut a lot of people out. Like you're going to be telling nobody nothing about nothing about nothing. You're going to be all booed up, keeping that to yourself. But in order for things to progress with this wish right here, you got to annihilate a lot of people. Cut the, uh, the baggage loose. Cut the waste loose. Cut the energy that's not for you loose. You got to do a whole lot of chopping, a whole lot of cutting to get that done. Right? And you're not going to say that either. Because the star card is also a card of traveling and movement. And with the Four of Pentacles, a person that keeps things close to their chest and so forth, when you're making these power moves to cut people off, it's going to be, for some of you, a mental thing. For some of you, it's going to be verbal, but they're not going to see it coming. You're just going to keep these things in your head like, yo, 
homie is mad grimy. I ain't effing with that dude no more. That's it. And you know, when they call, you're going to literally just not answer that phone. You're going to do what you got to do. Okay, my attention span just dipped for a minute. So I know this is it. Tell me what you think, guys. Comment below. And I will be back to normal in a couple of days. I will try to upload something honestly new for you. Because this is old. Everybody know when you're fabulous, you got mad haters, right? Bye, guys.